discuss sulfuric acid so sulfuric acid H2SO4 okay and here this one it is uh, used to manufacture almost all these compounds all the chemicals that is why this is known as king of chemicals this is known as king of chemicals and this concentrated uh, the sulfuric acid it is it's very thick so due to its viscous as it is viscous liquid it is known as oil of vitriol okay here it has two number of hydrogen so it is dibasic acid it is dibasic acid here this sulfuric acid here we can say it is a mineral acid it is a mineral oxy acid it is a mineral oxy acid why it is oxy acid oxygen is present and here this one it is produced due to the oxidation of non metal addition of water all these things okay so this is about sulfuric acid it is king of chemicals it is oil of vitriol then something about this general pre preparation we will see and for its occurrence free state it occurs but it is very low percentage occurrence and here we can say this one it is for this um, uh, springs all this it can be for found very low per less percentage but in the com combined state it will be found in the form of this sulf sulfates so sulfate any sulfate form it will be in the combined state it will be in the combined state okay now we will go for some general method of preparation two three general method of preparation we will take so here we know when non metals like sulfur with oxidation it give rise to sulfur dioxide this sulfur dioxide with further oxidation and addition of water to it give rise to h2so4 h2so4 okay so this one will be the first method of preparation what will be the second method of preparation second method of preparation is oxidation oxidation of sulfur by concentrated hno3 by concentrated hno3 so what happens here here if we will take sulfur plus hno3 this hno3 must be concentrated it give rise to h2so4 along with that one nitrogen dioxide along that one will be uh, water so let us balance this one this one will be uh, 6 this one will be 6 6 6 so 18 this one is 12 mm. 14 this one will be 16 okay so these two general method of preparation we will take take more are there but let us take this two then we will see this uh, large this is the general method of preparation now we will see that what is the large scale of preparation of uh, this sulfuric acid so large scale also it is known as industrial method so large scale preparation otherwise it's known as also industrial preparation industrial preparation of h2so4 okay so what are the different stages for it what are the different steps for it let us consider after that one we will discuss everything so here this large scale preparation this can be done in five steps or five stages so first one what will be the stage first stage will be production of production of so2 this production of so2 this so2 can be done by two ways here this one can be done sulfur burning in oxygen can give rise to sulfur dioxide otherwise we can take iron pyrite and here burning with oxygen give rise to fe2o3 
along with third one sulfur dioxide. This can be also, this, these are the two ways which one can be preferred, that one can be taken. So, production of SO2. So, here if we are taking this SO2, getting SO2, this SO2 must be purified. So, this one, second one will be purification of puri, purific, uh, purification of SO2. So, there are different stages for purification. We will discuss it afterwards. Third step will be catalytic oxidation. So, here catalytic, catalytic oxidation of SO2 converted to SO3. Okay. Fourth one. Fourth one will be absorption of Absorption of SO3 in concentrated S2SO4. Here, what is the, that one? Here, converted to oleum. We are converting that one to oleum. We will see why this one SO3 is not directly, but when we saw the equation, there we directly added SO3 with water, but here we are not taking, rather we are taking this one concentrated S2SO4 to get the product oleum. So what will be the fifth step? Fifth step will be the dilution tank. This one will be dilution tank. This one will be dilution tank. So what happens in this dilution tank? Here oleum it is converted to S2SO4 according to the here dilution will be the dilution means water will be added to oleum. So that we will get H2SO4 and this H2SO4 whatever we will get that one will be according to our desired concentration. Okay. So these are the five steps how we are getting it. So if we will take this one in the form of the flow chart and yes one thing it is the name of the process is contact process. This name of the process is contact process. In case of ammonia that one will be Haber's process. In case of SCA, that one will be inverted funnel arrangement. In case of HNO3, nitric acid, that one it is um, uh, austral process. And in case of sulfuric acid, that is your contact process. So here, let me write again here this one, ammonia, Haber's process, because this is the board question, Haber's process. One, course, one uh, table was given and in this table name was given reactant but I will show you that one here uh, SCL that one will be inverted funnel arrangement funnel funnel arrangement here HNO3 this one will be Ostwald's process. Fourth one, this one will be S2SO4. This is your contact process. This is contact process. Okay, so remember this one. Sometimes, sometimes this one it is a board question only. Here, one question was given just like a table it was given. And in this table, this all these four was there. Some case it was the product, product given. Some cases reactant. Okay, some cases catalyst, this one will be, one thing it will be, if it will be given ammonia, product it is ammonia, name the process, name of the process, okay, you have to write it, have us process, here if it will be given, name will be your, um, this austral process, what will be the product will be asked, if it is given H2SO4, what is the catalyst it is used, so all these are the board questions, you have to remember this one. Okay, so in this contact process, what we are going to just, I will show you that flow chart so that you can remember. Here, first of all, we are taking production of SO2. SO2 is produced, two ways are there, here another way, by anything it can be. So this one will be purification. This one will be purification of SO2. Okay, after that one, what we will get? Um, catalytic, catalytic 
oxidation of SO2 means it is converted to SO3. What it is next? Next it is your absorption tower. Absorption tower. Here in this absorption tower, SO3 it is converted to oleum. Here this one will be dilution tank. This one will be dilution tank and where we are getting desired amount, desired concentration of S2SO4. Okay, so this much. Now we will go for the process. Now let us see what should be the condition for maximum yield of sulfur trioxide. So the best conditions on the basis of less address principle. So it should be of high pressure. High pressure means what should be the pressure? Nearly 2 atm pressure. Okay, so it should be at high pressure. And here another one should be at low temperature. It should be at low temperature. Here low temperature means to maximum yield of SO3, conversion SO2 to SO3, here nearly 450 degrees Celsius we are taking. And here it is this reaction, it is highly exothermic reaction. So first of all, this temperature is given after when the reaction already started. After that one, this outside heating, it will be now stopped. So whatever heat evolved in this reaction, that one will proceed of this reaction will forward. Next one will be what is that? High concentration, high concentration of air must pass. Air means here I mean to say it is oxygen. What is that? First of all sulfur converting to sulfur dioxide. Otherwise iron pyrite converting to sulfur dioxide. There oxygen needed. Here SO2 will convert to SO3. There also oxygen needed. That is why high concentration of oxygen is required. Next one this uh, catalyst. What should be the catalyst? Here, here two type of catalyst can be used. What, what is that one? one? One can be vanadium pentoxide, another can be platinized asbestos. Okay, so here this platinized asbestos are not used. This platinized asbestos are not used because whatever these impurities are present, it poisons the catalyst and this one also it is costly. Time to time may replace, that is why we are not using platinum. Rather, vanadium pentoxide, it is cheap and it is very um, uh, uh, not, not poisoned by the impurities. Here it is not poisoned by impurities. Okay, this one will be poisoned by impurities. That is why it is not used. Then here, this gases whatever we are using must be pure gases. The gases must be pure. Otherwise, it will poison the catalyst, decrease the efficiency of production of SO3, decreases, decreases the production or efficiency of SO3. So, these are the condition for this uh, maximum yield of sulfur trioxide. Now let us see this uh, preparation, uh, large scale preparation or industrial preparation. So many boxes we have taken, so many chambers we have taken, towers we have taken. Let us see. So first one it is, this one is the production of SO2. Here production of SO2, it can be, this is the first step I am writing here. So first step, I told first step it is production of SO2. In this case, this sulfur burns with oxygen, give rise to sulfur dioxide. This may be sulfur dioxide it comes. Otherwise, it can be your Fe2, sorry. Now FeS2, iron pyrite, burning with oxidation. Here we are getting Fe2O3 along with sulfur dioxide. Here, this is the roasting process which we have read in metallurgy chapter. So, this one will be the process. Here, uh, here this one will be, let us balance 11, 
oxygen 2 fe 2 3 and 8 so 2 so this is the first step now we are getting ox um, um, sulfur dioxide maybe these two ways any way it is preferred that one can be taken along with that one we can take oxygen because continuous supply of oxygen must be required because here in when we are will will have this oxidation process here up to here that time it is required so along with sulfur dioxide here production of sulfur dioxide this one will be the first step then what i told i told that one will be second one will be purification of sulfur dioxide whatever sulfur dioxide we are getting that is not 100% pure that is why we need to purify it so there are different st stages you see first one will be your dusting chamber here sulfur dioxide goes through the dusting the dusting tower steams downward flow of the steam will be there so when there will be downward flow of steam this um, dust particles they settle down uh, they absorb how um, this uh, dust particle absorb moisture and they settle down now this hot so2 because here it is burning here it is steam obviously temperature will be more and this so2 along with sul sul this oxygen it will move here it is your cooling pipes the purpose of cooling pipe is to cooling the gases passing through the here it is cooling pipe the purpose of cooling pipe is to cool the uh, gases whatever it comes so this gas again goes to the scrubbing tower in this scrubbing tower what happens water will be sprinkled here it is steam but here it is water whatever remaining the dust particle will be there they will be they will be absorbed they will be settled and gases will go to the drying tower why the, this one will needed to have the drying tower because spraying water so gases have some water molecules moisture that is why they need to absorb um, this dry so here what are the process what we can take to dry it here the best drying agent required for drying uh, this so2 is concentrated sulfuric acid this concentrated sulfuric acid will be uh, will be uh, spray downward direction spray downward direction and this gases will be as the gases they will move and they will go to the arsenic purifier this one it is very important this arsenic purifier it is the um, chamber where the, there is see that one like the steps only we have kept for this arsenic purifier feoh whole thrice here we have taken feoh whole thrice means uh, um, this one it will be ferric hydroxide it is taken here this one is ferric hydroxide here it is ferric hydroxide it is used so when this one it is um, this um, so sulfur dioxide goes whatever this arsenic oxides are there they will be <coughs> they will be absorbed by this ferric hydroxide okay so next next is that that one we are going for the testing box so here this testing box role of testing box is important here what we are passing this one it is we have to pass the light you must have seen if all the doors windows are closed in a room and there is a so obviously it will be a dark and there will be a small hole in the window <coughs> so light used to pass through that window and we see that some of the particles some of the particles dust particles they just float on this <coughs> sorry <coughs> they just float on this ray in which the ray of light goes and if there will be we will find any sort of dust particle that is floating in the ray of light then it seems that this this sulfur dioxide it is not purified again it has to come to the again the same process from testing tower again all this they have to pass through all these purification chambers then after that this uh, sulfur dioxide gas along with <coughs> oxygen has to pass through the contact tower so here in the contact tower as we have discussed already we have taken vn2o5 vanadium pentoxide it is the um, uh, vanadium pentoxide we have taken and in this case this is contact tower okay now let us see here we have discussed 
part 2 will be this from here to here will be your purification so this one will be one this one will be two purification chamber after that one third part we will discuss that one will be stage 3 or step 3 in this step 3 what happens sulfur dioxide sulfur um, okay, well, sorry uh, this one will be the contact tower where we have uh, getting this so here what happens sulfur dioxide along with oxygen in the presence of vanadium pentoxide here this one will be the reversible process here we are getting so2 sorry so3 along with some amount of it it is exothermic reaction and here we have taken temperature is 450 degree celsius and here pressure is 1 to 2 atmospheric pressure okay so in this condition and we have discussed also vanadium pentoxide it is cheap and it is not easily poisoned uh, by these uh, impurities that is why it is it, it has taken so and here uh, this one this oxygen should be um, uh, continuously supplied to it maximum amount of oxygen should be there for this high yield of sulfur trioxide this one is over here when of pentoxide outside first of all it is heated uh, from outside that is why it is catalytically um, uh, electrically catalytically heated from this um, tower otherwise it is oxidation tower also because oxidation takes place and it is converted so2 come in this is contact tower so so2 come in contact with oxygen in presence of vanadium pentoxide at 450 degree celsius 1 to 2 atmospheric pressure and so3 gas is produced now we will go for this one will be so3 gas so3 gas comes this so3 gas can be converted to uh, to sulfuric acid by addition of water okay so, but here what happens this we are not using that one this one will be step 4 for us rather what we are taking this sulfur trioxide this sulfur trioxide with concentrated h2so4 concentrated h2so4 taken it is in the dilution tank or this sorry this one it is the absorption tower so3 and here what we are getting h2 H2O7. This name is known as oleum. Here it is otherwise uh, the other name is pyrosulfuric sulfuric acid. This other name also pyrosulfuric acid. From SO3 we are getting this one. Here next one is a fourth step is sorry for this one is fourth step. Fifth step is dilution. What happens in case of dilution? This oleum h2 h2o7 here it is diluted with water to give desired amount of h2 so4 okay so here whatever because depending upon this amount of water you are adding this so2 um, this sulfuric acid can be of that concentration now question arises why we are not using uh, this directly so3 to water here when so3 is added to water remember this one and listen it carefully this there will be uh, some uh, fumes of and the mist of uh, sulfuric acid will be formed okay which is difficult to condense that is why so3 is not directly absorbed here okay so let me rub this one and we let me write this again okay so why SO3 is not uh, added, everything I will write. So let me rub this one. Now question arises, this sulfur trioxide, it is acid anhydride of sulfuric acid because SO3 plus water give rise to H2SO4. But SO3 is not directly absorbed in water to give H2, uh, uh, sorry, H2SO4. The reason is that here, when the uh, it is highly exothermic this reaction is highly exothermic reaction highly exothermic reaction second uh, here it will be uh, what happens a dense fog of fog of sulfuric acid um, particle is formed is formed <coughs> which is not condensed easily which 
uh, do not condense easily. Okay. Next is that here uh, along with this um, uh, sulfuric acid here it can be this H2SO4 fog. The fog of H2SO4 contains contains uh, hmm, uh, sulfuric acid uh, particles of particles of sulfuric acid then uh, then uh, unreacted unreacted SO3 unreacted water vapors so here this H2SO4 is not the purpose will not be fulfilled. So here sulfuric acid forms they consist of sulfuric acid particles uh, along with that one when it is made steam here it will be unreacted sulfur trioxide particle will be there along with water. Now so here this uh, whatever the mist it is produced they prevent uh, dissolving uh, in uh, water. Now next one, next one is the sulfur trioxide. The sulfur trioxide uh, does not dissolve. The sulfur trioxide does not um, dissolve in water sufficiently or satisfactorily. it um, satisfactorily okay um, so it produces lot of amount of heat and forms this mist droplets of H2SO4 difficult to condense that is why this is uh, this process is not used and another one is when we are taking this vanadium pentoxide uh, along with uh, this uh, vanadium pentoxide some promoter can be also used in this case to proceed the forward reaction along with vanadium pentoxide here some percentage of K2O also can be taken here here potassium oxide also can be used so that this um, hmm, uh, uh, forward reaction can be possible okay so this is all about the preparation of sulfuric acid by this um, contact process.